Now, there was a, you obviously had another Formula One test um, with footwork, yeah. uh, which, which didn't end quite so well. Yeah, it's, you know, uh, it, it, it was a kind of a, a similar story, but it ended up a little bit different, shall we say, because the Williams test really ended up on a positive note, you know, uh, my pace relative to Prost, who I'm sure wasn't trying at all. But anyway, it was comparable. <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, so went uh, to uh, Estoril. And now this is a, you know, more serious uh, proper test, you know, is being considered uh, for the drive. Uh, again, an active suspension car. And But again, I had whatever i don't know what my shape is like because you know i'm not certainly the tallest guy around but i really struggled to fit in the car um and uh, the steering was like felt like it was in my nose uh my legs my knees were up against the i don't know, like burger I, I really i met him a few years ago uh, i got to know him a little bit better i asked how did you fit in those cars um, and it's like with great difficulty. <laughs> um, and uh, anyway, I was again very uncomfortable uh, in the car, but you know, I guess good enough to, to go and drive. And uh, I, I did, I can't remember a few runs, about 20 laps. Uh, I was really struggling with uh, um, how do you call it when you have like a muscle, your muscle uh, cramp cramps. Like cramps on my back, cramps on my butt, <laughs> you know, uh, because you, my legs were being thrown up, uh, thrown to the side, and and cramps on my wrist, believe it or not. And I'm like, look, I I need to I need to get out, and I, I need to go to the toilet, you know. Um, and uh, so I got out of the car, and I was walking between the two trucks, you know, thinking about how am I gonna uh, how am I gonna improve, how am I gonna tackle this, and so on uh and smash my head against a belly locker and because i was looking at the ground <laughs> uh, and uh, that was that was the end of the test you know it was it was a uh, it was an interesting experience you know unlike the williams i didn't really like that car at all um i was reasonably competitive on uh, um on the slow bits on the high speed corners it was just all pain you know you sit there ah, oh, my back <laughs> it was it was all pain and and the formula one car is 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 uh i don't know what they are like now but they were they were you know what struck me is that they were very violent you know i mean you hit the brakes bah, you know turn the wheel <laughs> you know, uh, very, uh, it's a, uh, and, and the ride was always very harsh, you know, it's, it's a very violent car. And uh, I thought the 3000 car was a very kind of violent car, and, and that was a step, uh, a step further. Did you have an offer for Stuart Grand Prix? Well, you know, um, as you, as I already said, <laughs> well, I always had a great relationship uh, with uh, Jackie and Paul. Um, we did have some conversations uh, about it, um, and um, but you know, at, at the time, it's just you know, I, I I I said that I think a few times in the past. I think whether the timing or whether I didn't feel the, the opportunity was the right opportunity that ended up never happening, you know, and, and uh, it was, it was, you know, the conversations never went much further um, with uh, Jackie and Paul because I think primarily timing, you know, uh, it, I was, you know, doing my deals in America very early. Um, it's just, you know, we never took it much further.